Silvio Berlusconi is a political phenomenon, a leader seemingly without an ideology. To his critics, he lies somewhere between a soap opera and a Shakespearean tragedy for Italy. He thinks his power is unlimited. He thinks he can obtain everything with whatever uh, tool, and that is frightening. It's a grotesque, unfortunate <laughs> uh, yeah, character in the history of Italy. But does Berlusconi offer us a glimpse of political leadership of the future? A cruise ship crooner turned television tycoon, Berlusconi has been a brilliant media operator since his arrival on the political scene in 1994. Berlusconi's media persona is quite unique, I think, in democratic countries, because what he's done much more successfully than any other leader is to merge, is to conflate his private life, his show business life, and then his political persona. Berlusconi notoriously makes stupid jokes, vulgar jokes, the kind of jokes that prime ministers, statesmen should not make, he does that at an international gathering, he causes scandal, but that works. It means he's not a politician, precisely. He makes the kind of stupid jokes that we make. Engulfed in sex scandals, accused of corruption and ridiculed by the international media, his ability to reach out to ordinary Italians in defiance of his growing critics has been at the heart of his survival and his popularity. There are just too many people in Italy who uh, accept little bribes. Um, you have dentists and doctors as well as plumbers who demand cash payment so that the way they, they will fiddle their taxes. Corruption is spread throughout society. And someone who says almost, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm guilty as well, but everybody is guilty. Berlusconi will say, there you go. What do you expect? Yeah. I'm an ordinary man just like you. I'm an Italian. Italians love love. They love food. They love relaxation. They love song. Here's a song for you. Berlusconi appears to epitomize successful political leadership in the televisual age. But Berlusconi is not alone in his brand of postmodern populism. His media populism is copied elsewhere. You see it in Berlusconi's great friend, Prime Minister now Putin, in Russia, where uh, Putin will display his, um, his strong physique to the camera. You can also see echoes of the Berlusconi populist phenomenon in politicians as diverse as Jacob Zuma, the president of South Africa, uh, Sarah Palin in the United States. I love those hockey moms. You know, they say the difference between a hockey mom and a pit bull? Lipstick. So you turn on a press conference, you get jokes. They're giving you a good time. And giving people a good time in politics is, of course, a popular thing to do. Their style appears to be some way from the norms of liberal democracy. A new politics where the national interest is more important than the party interest. So the personalization and the concentration in the media upon the personal is delusory for our understanding of politics. And if carried to an extreme, then can be rather dangerous. So far from being a one-off then, does Berlusconi actually reflect a wider shift in the nature of political power? <laughs>